Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with my Let's Play of the Axis campaign for Airfix Dogfighter. So, last video we ended up covering Mission 9, which means that this video will be Mission 10, Chlorine Chaos. Our objective is to sink the Enterprise in the backyard area, which is at a pool, as well as locate a new kit and its blueprints. Now the game does give you a new aircraft, the Zero. I'm not however going to be using that because we need to actually need a faster plane to be able to even pick up the blueprints. So for that purpose we're going to be going with the ME262. Alright, now I am probably by the way going to end up using the Zero in another video anyways. But my plan, so I'll probably just do that, and then I'll do, so I'll probably have the Zero be Mission 9, and I'll do the next final secret aircraft on Mission 10, so you'll be getting two extra videos instead of just one extra video with the Allies campaign. But this is, I think, more of an issue with, a bug with the game itself, because when this game, the problem with the carrier is that it, when it uh, goes off, it has the blueprint, or the uh, model, one of the two which you need to finish the mission. And that model is going to be on, on the bottom of the ocean or bottom of the pool. So we're already in a rough spot. All right. So they did get a good beat on me, but that's fine. I am actually going to lead them back into my base so I can Try getting some more power-ups. Some health, which I could use definitely. I don't think this mission is as difficult as the final allied mission. Although it can be still a little tricky. The carrier does have homing missiles, so it will shoot at you constantly. And it will hit and do damage. And that is one thing that apparent for whatever reason they decided to balance the zero by having it have extra armor, which makes no sense, but okay. Go ahead and pick this up. Gives us yet more. Alrighty. So our fuel situation could be better, but it could also be worse, much worse. We are pretty much on the end part as far as that is concerned, so we just need few more points and we should be able to get top tier weapons even. Oh, Tesla ammo. That hurt. Okay, so we did get the key. What we need now though is health and badly. Because I don't want to go dealing with the latest enemy on low health. That would be bad. Alright, so I think for the most part, though, we do have a... We did actually, I think, drop some health on one of these, so that's good. I don't know what's going on with the camera, but okay. Still a little badly damaged, so... Could have sworn this. I guess it was just some fuel, which is unfortunate and disappointing, but okay. One more of these, and we've got it, though. So we'll go ahead and pick up the key. 
I'd say we're pretty good as far as everything else though. We just need a little bit of health and we are golden. So we do have a wingman trapped here we can rescue. And we can also pick up our laser beam which is going to help us out even more. That's exactly what we need. And yet even more... Well at this point it's kind of redundant to even pick them up. All it's going to do is help with the end score. So these will... We'll go ahead and deal with the fort real quick just in case. I don't want it to wreck me as I'm trying to head back. There we go. And we even are going to get more health from it. That's lovely, actually. So we'll actually go ahead and prioritize dealing with the enemy carrier, but I have a special little tool to you do to take it out quickly. Getting the atom bomb is at least a lot easier in this mission than the other one. That's the one good thing I can say about it. seem to be whiffing a lot of these shots, which is unfortunate. So we have at least picked up the plans. Now I think we can prioritize taking out the rest of the ship. I think that's the end of her. That is definitely the end of her. Frankly, I was hoping I could take her out quickly enough that it wouldn't make me have to go through that, uh, the process of retrieving the plans in the water there, because that can be a little bit difficult, especially located way there. That's only just going to make it all the more dangerous to get them. Almost. So we still need to fly down there to pick up the plans even, but play our cards right, we can do it. Almost. Whoops, another plane here. So apparently... And another one. And another one! <laughs> Doing this makes me a little bit nervous this way because it does require part of the oh. still once again missed it. This guy is equipped with a Tesla weapon, so we'll take him out. We'll heal up. I mean, we can finish the mission as is, but I don't want to. I want to actually get that secret, and the problem is, the game just makes you do it this way. We missed it again. I think if we maybe get maximum speed by doing this then we can dive right back down.
There we go, we did it. Now, all we have to do is j Ooh. just return back to base. I'll go ahead and pick this up just for the sake of it. There we go. Now it's a simple matter of landing, and we'll have a brand spanking new aircraft. I will, of course, go through both Mission 9 again with the Zero and Mission 10 with the new aircraft, which I believe is the 163 Comet. There we are. Nice. All right, so this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh, we actually get some in-game credits. All right, so we'll go through this again. Uh, yeah, we did actually see some in-game credits on the Allied campaign as well, so we'll just watch this. It's not going to be a very lengthy credit section, I know that, because the game itself, like I said, this was in the early days of Paradox. And given that this was, at the time, I would argue something of an indie game, almost, from the early 2000s. So obviously it's not going to be that big. Anyways. But yeah, otherwise, I do think that it's going... Um, I am, hopefully, once this is done, I'll be able to upload the last two missions. So, so the bonus mission of 9 with the Mitsubishi Zero and the bonus mission of 10 with the Comet. So you can see how both of those aircraft handle. And, yeah, that should be a pretty good way to end this particular Let's Play. And then once this is done, I hopefully will be going right back to covering Command & Conquer as well as Warcraft 2. That's the plan, anyways. So let's see what the uh, the medal inscription says. Thanks to your outstanding achievements in the heat of battle, the Allied forces have been vanquished before our very eyes. This campaign has been a complete success. Your deeds will surely be remembered. We are proud to have people like you in our ranks. We salute you. Okay. And that is it as far as the game is concerned. All right, so this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.